Hello everyone. Now let's check how to fix one Seagate firmware corrupted cases. Now we have collected this pensioned hard drive to the DFL SRP firmware repair hardware. So the very first thing to fix one Seagate firmware corrupted hard drive is to open the COM port. And select the correct file rate. Now we need to power on the pension hard drive and see what kind of error messages output in the COM terminal. Now here are the COM terminal messages. So we can use Ctrl L to check if the drive is locked or locked. And we can check the family ID and family name. So this is 158 hard drive. Now we can see that the hard drive ID can be properly detected by the auto get details. Now from the modules list, we can see the drive firmware modules are available for users to read and write. So next, we need to try to see what happened to the pension drive and why this pension drive was sent to the Dolphin Data Recovery Net to recover the lost data. Now we just need to run the logical scan and we will find out the issue with this pension hard drive. Now we can see the front part, the data error is accessible and some bad sectors in the front part of RBA. Now let's check the middle part of the hard drive. We can use one three. Now this is about 33%. We try to start the scanning. And we will find that this data error is blocked. That means this data error cannot be accessed and full of these red blocks. Now let's check the ending part of the hard drive by changing the LBA value. We can try to change to 33 and remember clear the scan record and click OK. We can see here it's about 84% of this hard drive and we run the logical scan and we still find that drive is locked. Data error is locked. So we cannot access to the data error. So this is called usually the partial sector access issue with this ST2000DM001. So to recover the lost data, the very first thing to do is to first back up the ROM. So for Seagate, we can use ATA if the drive gets ready. We can back up the hard drive ROM by ATM mode. By ATM mode, it's very fast. And by COM mode, it's a little slower. Now we can see ROM read OK. And then we can back up the important SYS files. But right now we have found the drive is already partial sector accessed. So the backup is not so important. Anyway, we still backup it. Now we can backup by ATM mode. At high speed. So 
ID 28.35.93. Okay. After this firmware backup, ROM backup, so what's the last to do to fix this kind of tension hard drive? Because it's already partial sector accessed. So to fix this hard drive, we need to check V4. So this is the genus entries. For this entries, we must clear it. Now we try to check the V4 again. So zero entries. That means we have cleared the V4 entries. Now we continue to check the engineer's entries. So there are four entries returned. Sometimes four entries means normal entries. And sometimes these four entries are from the genist. It is transferred from the genist to the engineist. Then these kind of entries are lot normal entries. And this kind of lot normal entries will cause the partial sector access problem. Now let's try to clear the end list and then try to regenerate the translator and see if they can fix the partial sector access issue. Now we can try uh, to switch to ATA mode first by Ctrl T. Now let's go to the defects management we can find the engineist operations and here we can clear engineist in ATM mode because the drive can get ready. Now from the lock window, we check the lock window here. We can see okay, the engineist clearing completes. Now go back to the COM terminal and then we try to use V40 again. And now we can see it's zero entries. Before we clear the entry list, there are four entries returned. Now, after we clear the entry list entries, we try to use M063. To regenerate the transmitter. All the full bad sectors or partial sector access issues are caused by the transmitter corruption. So if users want to regenerate the transmitter properly, and users must make sure the entries in the engine list must be correct. If not correct, we can try to write back the original engineist with original entries or we just clear the engineist entries and then regenerate the transmitter now we have regenerated the transmitter and now we go to the atm mode remember each time users go to run the logical scan after executing some repair commands and users need to switch to ATM mode. Now we try to scan the drive again and we go to the ending part. For example, we start with 3 then have the same digits LBA as the max LBA. So this is very close. So this will enable the users to check the hard drive health information of ending part. Now we try to click start the scanning. And let's check more.
So the parallel from the parallel. Let's try again. Now this is the middle part. So this means we still need to do something to check starting the RBA. So we keep reading these error messages is com terminal. Now we need to check the V40 again. One inches and V4 clear and we go inside this program. Let's check the meter catch. If the meter catch has been enabled a lot. Okay, we need to untick this one. Click modify. And now we need to clear the end list again. Let's check the V40. Next, okay. Let's wait and see. Okay. Now zero entries. Clear it. For zero, okay. So entries are still zero after the transfer regeneration. Now let's check the data error. Now we can see that the data error is accessible, so it's already seventy six percent. And then we can see the drive is normally accessed. So this means we have fixed the partial sector access issue by this method. So users can follow this video to fix this kind of partial sector access issue. For some ST2000DM001, and the, this one, the LiYN, it's different and some newer model for this one it has SED knock and we can definitely unlock it easily with the DFL ST firmware repair too now we can see we have fixed this tension hard drive and all the data are accessible so it's one very successful case for the user. Thank you for watching this video.